tragedy and turmoil have shaped the Afghan leg spinner into the best in business, but he longs for the day when he will play in front of his own people. Even if you give me poison, I will drink it. Rashid Khan's mother mutters from the sick bed. She had wanted salt, and other prohibited items, as she lay suffering from COVID-19 at their home in Afghanistan. Rashid had offered to make orange juice instead, and she had brought up the poison. Rashid gets the juice, and retires to his room. He wondered why that day she wanted to eat all the things she shouldn't be touching. A cry from his sister jolts him and he rushes downstairs. The mother looks at him and her head just dropped. Until then, he had no inkling that his mother was in any mortal danger. For a couple of months, he had been beside her bed, massaging her legs through some nights. Once at 4 a.m., she woke up startled to find him pressing her legs. You haven't slept? No, I shall soon get some sleep, you sleep now, Rashid would say. That day, the blessings she gave me, Rashid says in a poignant chat with Narrowly Meadows in her podcast Ordinarily Speaking. She died in front of my eyes in 2020. Her final look has stayed with Rashid to this day. Two days after her death, he woke up, told his younger brother lying beside him to take care of mother while he went to the washroom. There I realized what did I just do? The two had been very close, once he had even had an 11-hour video call with her. To this day, he says he can't sleep properly. He would wake up with a jolt, with an image of his mother. Her love, her voice. Dear Mom. Could you come back and stay for a while? I want to hear your voice and see you smile. I want to hold you tight and never let you go and tell you how much I love you. Remembering you is easy. I do it every day, but missing you is heartache that never goes away. Another sound keeps Rashid awake at times. The noise of a bomb. He was in his teens in a U-19 camp when an ear-splitting explosion woke him and his teammates in the room, in the middle of the night. There was debris all around us, dust. Rashid thought the place they were staying was under attack and someone would soon arrive at their room to shoot us down. He locked the room and sat tight. Someone came knocking to inform them that the blast was not in the building and all the young boys sat at the ground from 1 a.m. to 8 next morning. The sound of the blast. It never goes away, it was a different sound and I never heard that kind of sound in my life. Whenever something bad happens back home, I do think about it. When he was young, Rashid's parents wouldn't allow him to go out on the streets to play as they were afraid that he would be caught at the wrong place at the wrong time fight has broken out. Guns. That's why my parents were very careful about me. 